Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to talk about how to use Try Hack Me today. Now, I've been asked a few times to create a video on how to use Try Hack Me and how to connect to the network called the OpenVPN Try Hack Me network. Now, it's quite easy actually here on Try Hack Me. First of all, you basically need to, well, there's a tutorial here, you can, it's, it's called tutorial. And from what I understand, it's like um, 434 and 989 users in this, in this room for the duration of 651 days. So it's a very popular room. And this is the room you're gonna have to do in order to connect to TryHackMe. The first thing you need to do is if you have bought a subscription, you can start the attack box and then you basically can do everything on the browser. It's a very popular choice and the way that's gonna work is you're gonna start the machine here and now you get to the to the part of do you wanna use the uh, attack box? It's for web-based attack the machines, it's recommended or you can connect to a network and that is what I do because then I use my own machine to do all the attacks from. However, it is also quite popular from understand to use this attack box here. Now you can either press the blue button or you can press the green button. Just gonna press it here, obviously. And you can see now it starts. Um, and then you get this, this is just this is your attack box, use for this and that, and you can click yeah and it tells you this is machine you just started. You're gonna get the IP address really soon you can use. And basically this is gonna load and take a while. Now, this video I'm only gonna talk about how to use TryHackMe through the browser and using it through uh, the attack box. While this loads, I'm gonna pause the video and get back. All right, so we have it booted up right here and you get this terminal, the very first, and there's going to be some instructions here for you, um, telling you where stuff is located. And I, you should probably take a note of this because you're going to use it. It's also really psychedelic with the, with the colors. So <laughs> basically just going to press any key and close it down. So what you see here is different kind of, you know, tools you can load up and you can build the, the browser up and let's just do that just for, you know, why not, of course. And it's not as fast as the, um, if you're running this natively or just in the virtual box. So it seems like there is probably internet on it. So let's go ahead and visit YouTube. And it is not the fastest of the machines you can use. However, it does work. It got all the different kind of links for you and it's quite easy to you to know to just boot it up and and basically as you can see you will see YouTube now. I haven't actually seen YouTube uh, suggest which kind of videos to to show me with a total fresh fresh installation and a fresh visit and this is Quite interesting. Johnny Depp's law case, football and stuff like that. Anyways, this is this is the um, this is the OS you're using. So what you can do now is basically go ahead and take the the IP address here on the left side. You can see if you click the small icon, you can copy the clipboard and just copy it. You can basically go inside the tag box and paste it in. And I think I pressed copy, so let's go back again and paste it in. Paste. Is it copy? Let's see. Can we do that? That's the thing. Pasting between windows is really bad. So let me just see if we can just type it for now. Ten. Please do something. Ten. Ten. Ninety. Eighty-six. And if you do that. You will access this machine here as is the one you can see the picture of. You can get the flag and yes, you did actually you know connect yourself to the machine and you can complete this room here. Now, this is of course really easy as long as you're using the attack box 
And when you're using your tag box, you basically can do whatever you would like. You can also see the trace of traffic right here. And how much CPU power you got and RAM and stuff like that. So it's actually a four gigabytes almost of RAM. That is quite good for free virtual machine. The CPUs are probably not that fast, so I wouldn't really recommend you do a lot of stuff stuff on it. When you are beginning to uh, progress here on try hack me to go on to more and more advanced rooms that require more resources, you just slowly start to migrate to your own virtual box of VMware running a Linux Kali installation. Now that is of course next level stuff and if you're just a beginner and you find hacking very interesting and, and this is just the most advanced you've ever gone before, I understand this is probably a bit like nerve wracking like oh my god what is going on. So. I give you my blessings on this. It is really nerve wracking if you're new to this. But you know, the only way you're gonna learn is just throw yourself out on it, you know, download the VMware player for Windows. I think you can get a free version for Mac and Linux as well. And then you're gonna install Linux Kaylee and basically just go to Google and type Linux Kaylee and then download it for virtual machine, VMware. And basically, you know, install it and run it. Now I have no video about that. Uh, I think I don't have it. At least I have so many videos. Of, I, I tend to forget what I do create, but there are many other videos on YouTube about many different things. And I impossible, I cannot cover everything, but I'm gonna try and cover the most essential things that I find very important for you guys to know in order to, to roam around here on TryHackMe, for example. So, Basically, that's it. Let's go ahead and take a little look here on the VM machine again. So what I'm going to do is is um, I'm going to press the button down here called Exit Split View. And then we will show Split View again and then we can open it up one more time. What you should have is the one called View and Fuel Screen. So that's going to open up a new tab. And then I can exit the split view here on the other tab and then you can work with it on tabs. The most important thing to learn here is the terminal which is a small icon here. And what you're really gonna, gonna be used this for is to do your different kind of scans and stuff. Uh, can you make this larger? It's very difficult to put it there but you can actually draw, uh, drag them a little more large and, sl and small if you wish to do that. This is where you can do your command. So let's do a if config. You already root, so that's fine. And you can see here that you're getting a um, try hack me local IP address 101061. This is your local attack box IP address. It's called the, e, uh, the Ethernet Zero card. And it seems like you're running Docker at some point. So maybe. Maybe this is a Docker thing. I really don't know, but but it 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 could it could very well be a a Docker virtualization some 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 sort. Anyways, this is the way you're gonna look at your IP address. So write if config, and you're gonna use this IP address a lot when you roam around on TryHackMe and doing exploits, doing reverse shells. Now I'm saying just saying stuff right now, and and if you, if you don't understand what what I'm saying right now, reverse shells and, and scans and stuff. This is because you haven't done the rooms. If you progress far enough and try hack me, you will pretty fast understand the words that I'm talking about, about scanning and reverse shilling. Um, so this is really the way to progress is to just to throw yourself in it. Now, if I should suggest a some sort of progression here on try hack me, I would definitely do the tutorial and, and stick on the uh, online attack box. Then you're gonna go to learn and then here you gotta have something on learning path. What I suggest you do is basically go ahead and do the uh, pre-security learning path. Expect around 40 hours time to complete this. This is a little time, uh, it's, it's about a week work. And, and basically you will, you will get a really good introduction to cybersecurity. 
and networking and stuff like that. If this is just a tad too advanced already, you can go back to learning path and do stuff like complete beginner, which is the very, very first room you should do before doing pre-security. So if you are a complete beginner, do complete beginner. It takes out 64 hours. What you're gonna learn here is stuff like Linux fundamentals, networking basics, we're packing fundamentals, some cryptography, Windows exploitation, shell priv escalation, and basic computer exploitation. Now, the topics you're probably gonna find uh, somewhat easy right now to understand, probably the complete beginner, so that is the tutorial I just talked about, starting out in CyberSec, in introductory researching. When you've done that, you know, go to Linux fundamentals and take the rooms one at a time. It's going to give you a really good head start and you will be a really good, you know, hacker in just around, you know, a few weeks time. Continue your work, continue to study, continue hacking room on Try Hack Me. Within a year's time, maybe more, you could probably land a okay job, you know, and if you want to do that, I suggest you go ahead and follow the path that I just suggested. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions, suggestions, or just which room should I do if I did this and that, or I have struggled with this and that. You know, you can always just ask me. I'm gonna try and suggest something for you. I wanna help you. So basically, that's the way. And this is the video. Really hope you learned something today. If you did so, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I really hope you had a have a really nice day. So see you out there.